Hello, today we're going to be going over how to resize a bunch of images all at once instead of doing them one at a time. Um, if at any time you want to skip skip ahead if you already know some of this stuff, um, you just want to know how to use the program, just look in the description. Uh, I have a table of contents, you can skip to wherever you want. Uh, with that, we'll get started. A um, couple of reasons why you want to resize your, your images before uploading them to your website. The number one is um, you know how fast the site loads so if you have a bunch of pictures that are just way too big um, that's not gonna work because if you just put them into the here and you use the visual editor to resize them to something smaller the the browser is actually gonna be still loading that that big picture even though it looks small on the screen it can just take long to upload the other reason is we're gonna be going through a lot of um, plugins and different ways to use image galleries and slideshows and everything in your pages and you really need to up. You need you need to resize those pictures before you can actually use those plugins for the most part, um, for the loading reason and just because sometimes the plugins will use whatever image you've uploaded and sometimes that'll cause it to be way too big on your page. So you're going to want to resize them and doing it one at a time really is not the most efficient way. You want to sit. You know, it's all about saving time. Time is money. We're going to go over that today. So with that, we'll get started. Uh, the program that we use. Um, I'm sure there's a couple more out there, but this one's free. It works great. It's called photosizer.com. So with that, we'll go there. It's F-O-T-O-S-I-Z-E-R.com. The link is also in the description of this video. Um, you can do that. Once you get to this page, you'll just say download. And it's completely free. Hit download. I'm not going to do it because I already have it on my computer, but once you get it all installed and set up and you can create an on, uh, icon on your desktop, whatever you want to do, you're going to open up the program. This is what it's going to look like. Um, and we'll go through the dash, the panel a little bit. Uh, this is the size that you want to you uh, adjust it to. I always hit here, uh, do not enlarge or smaller. That means if you have a picture that is actually 175, pixels wide but you're gonna resize it to resize your your batch images to 255 you don't want that picture that's smaller than that to get re, uh, blown up because it'll just look bad so you wanna hit this so it'll still stay small and if you really still wanna use it you can um, and it will look fine it'll just be smaller than the other pictures alright maintain aspect ratio that's um so you only typically only will adjust the width um, you don't have to worry about the height. It's not going to say resize every picture to 255 by 108 unless you uncheck this box, the maintain aspect ratio. But we want, you know, we want it to be 255 wide by whatever height it needs to be after it's been resized. So keep that box checked. Um, all right. The next thing you're going to do is you want to add images that you want to actually get resized. So these are the original images. All you do is hit add an image. All right, and another good thing to do is all the pictures that you're going to want to resize, uh, get them into one folder, um, and then within that folder, create a new folder. Uh, you can just right-click, folder, say resize. Okay, so that's just an empty folder sitting there, and we'll get to why we need that shortly. So I'm going to go Shift, hit down, just copy all the images, open it up. There's all the images uh, in there. We're going to want to resize them to 255. You can put in whatever number you want here. Um, for this tutorial, it's 255. Not a big deal. Some of them are, as you can see, already too small, so those aren't going to actually change. As you see, 123, 123. But um, the bigger ones, this one's going to be 304, go down to 255. Now, we need to choose where do we want these resized images to be sent to. So you're going to go down and right where it says destination folder, you're going to hit the folder, the folder icon next to it. Scroll down, pick the folder that you want the pictures to go to. So for me, it was, uh, am I on the home? No, I'm not even on the, bear with me. Here we go. There it is. There's the folder, but I want to hit that resize folder that I had um, just made. Okay. All right. Everything looks good. We got the right size we want. All the pictures are in there. All I'm going to do is hit start. 
And that's it. They're resized. Let's take a quick look. All right, bring out this folder. Here's all the bigger image. Here's all the original images. And then when I click on resize, there they all are resized. 255. Okay. And then all the pictures that were already too small to be resized that large are just stay the same that they, that they, uh, they were before. Okay, so that's how you resize images using PhotoSizer. Very easy, great program, so much easier than doing one at a time. It's just, you have no idea. So we're going to be getting to the slideshows and future tutorials. Keep a lookout for those. This has been another from Compete Now, uh, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials to give you the keys to your web presence and put you in the fast lane to success. To, uh, for more, go to startcomputing.com slash tutorials. It's been good, and uh, we look forward to making more.